recall one of the very first recipes I had the honor of working with Chris on was butternut squash soup. That oh. is part of the menu, and I've seen some creative uses for that from time to time on Christopher's Kitchen. This is another one with butternut squash ravioli. Butternut squash ravioli. It's not, it's not so uncommon in Italy, believe it or not, with a little, uh, even a little bolognese sauce, a little meat tomato sauce. Uh, butternut squash is that uh, sort of a long looking squash. I've peeled it here and, uh, and diced it up. Got a little shallot here also for this mix. Now we're going to puree this so it doesn't really matter the size too much. Some of our shallot. A little bit of garlic. Definitely our butternut squash. We're going to add a little salt to that also so uh, all the moisture really comes out of the butternut squash. We're going to start a little quick tomato sauce here. A little garlic. And some fresh tomatoes. Now in this, I've got a little pinch of a uh, little pinch of hot red pepper. We're going to add a little sea salt to bring out the moisture in those tomatoes. Going to add a few basil leaves here. Now while this is cooking down nice and slow, both of these, we're going to start rolling out our pasta. Now we have a pasta recipe on the website. We just use that. We pat that out and get that ready to go through the machine. Okay. Now we're going to work our way down. We started at zero on this pasta machine, working our way down all the way to probably five. Pasta has been uh, rolled out. I'm just going to put a little flour here to separate it. This is all-purpose flour with a little bit of semolina in it. And I'm just going to put it just like that, and we're going to hold that. Now our butternut squash should be uh, tender enough. I'm going to add a little bit of fresh herb here. I've got a little bit, just a touch of basil. I'm going to add that. Always try to add your fresh herbs at the end if you can. I'm just going to smash that up a little bit. Taste it for salt and pepper. Gonna add a little Parmesan cheese here. A couple of spoonfuls of ricotta cheese. Just a touch more basil. I'm just gonna mix that up a little bit. And then we're gonna let that cool slightly. Just a touch of cream in there. Let that reduce down a little bit. Nice and even here. Gonna take a little bit of. Just gonna put a little uh, beaten egg here in between to sort of seal. This we're gonna lay right over the top. Just like that. You wanna press the air out. So you wanna start right around the little pocket of whatever filling you make. You just kinda make it, make your little fingerprints close to that and get all the air out right around that. Cause air is your enemy when you're making a, a filled product like ravioli in it. That's good. Now I'm just gonna cut these in nice, uh, nice squares. Now we have our uh, boiling water ready. Now I've got our ravioli here. I'm going to go ahead and add that to the sauce that we've been cooking with that in. Just finish it right there. And I'm going to add just a touch of this pasta water. It's got some good flavor just to reduce that. Well, you want the pasta. I only cooked that pasta about three quarters of the way. Now I'm going to finish it in this sauce. I'm going to put some of this tomato sauce on the bottom here, just like that. Oh, this does smell good. Shaved Parmesan on that. All right, Mike, let's give this uh, pumpkin ravioli a shot. Is it, it's not pumpkin, well, butternut. Yeah, butternut squash. Yeah. Australian pumpkin. Well, it no, it's all right. So it's got some neat flavors going on there. Oh, my goodness. Good pasta. Just the way it's supposed to be done. That is one fine batch. Butternut mm. squash ravioli. If you would like to access this recipe, all you have to do is go online to kbtx.com. Click on the icon that says Christopher's Kitchen. We have all the recipes, including butternut squash ravioli, our featured recipe of the day. Chris, another winner, and thank you for sharing some time with us. Thank you. And thank you for making us a part of your day. From Christopher's Kitchen, for Chris Lampo, I'm Mike Wright.